I am so excited about this next guest. She's an author who self-published her own book. She's a mogul. She's an awesome woman. She empowers young women and women throughout the business. Y'all give it up for Shanti <laughs> always a fan of music. I started interning, kind of like shadowing, mm -hmm. interning a couple days a week at B103. And I was like in middle school, I Wow. So yeah, you know, it kind of snowballed after but that. But you've always had like a hustle and a grind. I remember seeing you at LaFace, just grinding it out. Mm -hmm. And you work with so many artists at LaFace. Um, tell me who influenced you the most? What artists did you say you felt like a personal connection to? And it was more than just a job for you. I probably think I resonate the most with Outkast, and that's okay. probably because I spent the most time with them. Although I love Usher to Pieces, I was there very early on in his career, and TLC, of course. Mm -hmm. But Outkast and I, I mean, we spent so much time together on the road. And they're like my, you know, brothers now. Yeah, so. yeah that's good. Speak to. You being a woman in this business, like you said, it's very male dominated. Mm -hmm. And how do you feel that you maintain your integrity throughout your journey? I think for me, um, because I was a sneakerhead at Syracuse, mm -hmm. and I started, I met Jermaine Dupree when I was high, in high school, and he was just starting with Silk Times Leather and crisscross and so I just kind of turned into this little hood chick. <laughs> Sorry to say that, but you know, I was, you know, wearing my hat to the back and my jeans backwards and so. I was like, you know what, this kind of works for me because I started becoming everybody's little sister. Gotcha. And so once I got in the industry, and I'm not telling ladies, like, I don't want people to think that like, you gotta wear baggy clothes to be accepted right. and appreciated and respected, but that was what worked for me. Mm -hmm. And so I kind of diverted the attention. And so by the time I, you know, started coming into my womanhood and wearing my little midriff shirts, I had a flat stomach back then. <laughs> Um, you know, I could do that because the respect was already there. Yes. And so even when I would deal with like advances for men in the industry, because it happened a lot. A lot. Yeah. Whether it was the artists or yeah. people that I worked with, um, you know, I just never let that change who I was. 